I hope you've had a good Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about some nanotubes and really cheap high-speed internet. Researchers have discovered a new nanotube that can be used to create new batteries that can be charged super quickly and also increase the safety of those batteries. Um, what it can do is um, you can have a battery and within 30 seconds get up to 50% of your capacity in that battery, which is pretty insane when compared to now it takes probably about an hour or so to get up to 50% of battery life. Because if you can get, even if you don't get batteries that can have super high capacity, like in cars, if you could just like stop at a rest stop for like two minutes and get up to like 70% battery life, you can just keep on going for another 200 miles once they get about a 300 mile full charge limit on a car, um, on a majority of cars. And once this battery technology is out, if it ever gets out, probably in the next 10 years, I hope, um, that will make any electronic device like that is high capacity um, much easier to use as long as the charging ability charge cycles isn't hindered by the super fast charging. The safety aspect is you've always heard like lithium ion batteries could possibly explode, burst into flames. What this is supposed to do, um, the things that cause that will um, change with the nanotubes and be much less likely if at all. And, get rid of that problem completely so you really won't have the chance of your battery catching on fire which is a great thing as well. Next cable companies are going to be given super cheap $10 a month high speed internet. Um, this really only applies to kids or that right now have the free in school lunch so if you if your family doesn't make enough money and you can't even afford really in school lunch and they give you that for free then uh, this internet it will be given to use 1.5 megabits is what's like what they're using now and that's more than enough to YouTube browse with the web browse and everything else and for ten dollars a month versus normally probably between twenty and thirty dollars a month and so that allows a cheap internet connection which uh, in my opinion is you can't go through school today without an internet connection but really it makes it ten times easier to have one at your house instead of having to depend on the library to go and do a project or something. It's just a pain in the ass that when, if you couldn't do something at your own house and you'd have to depend on the library to do a project and then print out stuff and everything else like that, it's much easier to be able to research at your house and have internet at your house. Also with this program, it seems like Microsoft, Best Buy, and um, Comcast the cable companies so are partnering up and they're going to be able to give $150 or $250 computers bundled with Microsoft Office and that will allow, if they don't already have a computer, they can get cheap computers that would suffice for internet browsing, text documents, schoolwork, and that general matter. And it will do all that stuff just fine and I'm glad they have these options out because I think it's important that every person needs to have access to internet no matter how poor they are or whatever. It's just the internet is the best pool of knowledge and it helps everyone gain from using the internet. That's all I had to talk about today. If you have any questions, comment below, subscribe, like my video, and I'll see you on Friday.